three. Listen. Listen to three people talking. These are the three people, Eric, Frank, and Mark, talking about their friends. They are describing their friends, and you try to figure out how, which adjective, these are the adjectives, match the people with the adjectives, these are the adjectives, you will have to match each one of these adjectives to each of these people. Match the people with the adjectives below. There is one extra adjective that you do not need to use. Three people, four adjectives. That means we will use three of them. One is not needed. Now, before we begin, it's always smart. Every time you have a listening activity, you should always start by reading the statements, the questions, before the listening itself. This can help you a lot in catching the answer when you hear it. I also suggest that you go back and watch the previous video, 1E, 1 Vocabulary, because many of these adjectives and even this word here, arguments, were discussed in that lesson. Shy is the only new adjective we have today. Okay? And I also highly recommend that you watch every video in the channel. Do not just go and pick a video, for example, if you are only interested in grammar or listening and you skip the other videos. I suggest that you watch all the videos because once something has been discussed in any of these videos, I don't go over it again. I don't discuss it again. Okay? So listen again and write T for true and F for false. Eric likes playing sports. Frank goes to the youth center every day. Frank likes playing video games. Mark often has arguments. Arguments, fights. When you have an argument with somebody, that means you fight him, but not using your hands. You just use your mouth. Everybody wants to win an argument with his friends. Five people don't like Mark when they f first meet him. Now that we have read all the statements, let's listen to the recording and see if we can match these and put T or F for these. One. I see my friend Eric every day. We go to the park and meet up with other friends. Everyone likes Eric, and he is always friendly to people. That's good, because I can't stand shy people. Eric is also very sporty, and one day he wants to play football for the national team. 2. Frank is my best friend. We met at the youth centre. He went there a lot, but he never spoke to anyone. He just sat in the corner and played video games. One day, I went to have a look and we started playing against each other. We had a great game and I won. We don't go to the youth centre anymore because there are a lot of people there. OK, so he's a bit quiet, but we have fun together. 3. The first time I met Mark, we had a bit of an argument. We were at the bowling alley with some other friends and he wanted to join our game. Then he started telling each of us how to hold the ball and how to use the scoring machine. I couldn't believe it. In the end, I realised he just wanted to help. He likes to tell people what to do, but most people don't understand that he means well. All right. Now, I believe that some of you are able to match this exercise A and finish exercise B as well. However, now I'm showing you the listening transcript. This is the listening transcript for those who are unable to finish the previous activity. One. I see my friend Eric every day. We go to the park and meet up with other friends. Everyone likes Eric and he is always friendly to people. That's good because I can't stand shy people. Eric is also very sporty, and one day 
He wants to play football for the national team. 2. Frank is my best friend. We met at the youth centre. He went there a lot, but he never spoke to anyone. He just sat in the corner and played video games. One day, I went to have a look and we started playing against each other. We had a great game and I won. We don't go to the youth centre anymore because there are a lot of people there. OK, so he's a bit quiet, but we have fun together. 3. The first time I met Mark, we had a bit of an argument. We were at the bowling alley with some other friends, and he wanted to join our game. Then he started telling each of us how to hold the ball and how to use the scoring machine. I couldn't believe it. In the end, I realised he just wanted to help. He likes to tell people what to do, but most people don't understand that he means well. Okay, now it's our turn. I see my friend Eric every day. We go to the park and meet up with other friends. Everyone likes Eric. And he is always friendly to people. This guy Eric is outgoing. Why? Because he always loves to meet people. He is friendly to people. That's good, because I can't stand shy people. Shy is the opposite of outgoing, is the opposite of being open to the idea of meeting new people all the time. Eric is also very sporty, that means he likes to play all kinds of sports. And one day, he wants to play football for the national team. Here is a picture of, of the Saudi national team. 2. Frank is my best friend. We met at the youth center. Met is the past tense of meet. Meet, met. That means in the past. We met at the youth center. He went there a lot. But he never spoke to a anyone. That means he doesn't like to talk to people. Maybe because he is shy. Maybe shy. He doesn't speak a lot. Spoke is the past sense of speak. He doesn't speak to people, that means he's shy. He just sat in the cor corner. Sat is the past tense of sit, like sit down. He sat in the corner and played video games. He just play games. He doesn't talk to people. One day, I went to have a look. Just see what he's doing. And we started playing against each other. These two are going against each other. We had a great game. They played against each other. And I won. One, that means he didn't lose. He was victorious. Won is the past tense of win. Win, won. We don't go to the youth center anymore. That means we stopped going there. Because there are a lot of people there. Okay? So he is a bit quiet. That means he doesn't like to talk a lot. But we have fun together. 3. The first time I met Mark, we had a bit of an argument. We had a fight. We were, we were at the bowling alley. Here is a picture of a bowling alley with some other friends. And he wanted to join our game. So, Mark wanted to join, he, wants, he wanted to play with the other guys. Then he started telling each of us how to hold the ball. He started teaching them, this is how you must hold the ball. Can you imagine someone joining other people and, he, and instead of them telling him how to hold the ball, he started telling everybody the way to hold the ball and how to use the scoring machine. This is the scoring machine. He started telling everybody how to use this to keep track of the score. I couldn't believe it because, you know, it's awkward. Normally, when you are, when you are the, new, the new one joining a team or joining people, you're supposed to be quiet, right? They tell you what to do. You don't tell them what to do. In the end, I realized I was able to understand that he just wanted to help. 
He likes to tell people what to do, but most people don't understand that he means well. That, that means he has good intentions. Now we get back to the two exercises A and B and finish them. So Eric, Eric is the sporty guy, the first guy, Eric, the one who likes all kinds of sport, is outgoing, quick-tempered, shy or bossy. He likes to meet friends, right? So he is outgoing. Frank is the the gamer, the one who likes to play video games and he doesn't talk much. He's the shy. He is not outgoing. Shy is the opposite of outgoing. Mark Mark is the one who tells everybody what to do, so he is bossy. He acts like a boss. B. Listen again and write T for true and F for false. Eric likes playing sports. Yeah, we know that's true. Frank goes to the youth center every day. He said that they don't do it anymore because there are too many people there. So they don't do it anymore. False. Frank likes playing video games. Well, yes, that is true. He doesn't talk much, but he likes to play games. Mark often has arguments with his friends. Mark is the bossy guy. Yes, he always has arguments. People don't like Mark when they first meet him. Well, it's true. They don't like him at first because he seems bossy. But in the end, when you get to know him, that you know that the only thing he is trying to do is to help others. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends.